Next speaker is Dr. Roman Handoshko, and uh, his uh, talk is Between Separatism and State Patriotism, the Cossack Revival Movement in the Don and Donbass regions from 1985 to 2015. I'd like, first of all, uh, to thank the organizers of uh, this meeting for inviting me here today. And we, we have heard a lot about Siberia, and now let's go to the South Russia, to the Don region. One of the powers that fight against the Ukrainian army in today's conflict in Donbass is comprised of people who call themselves the Cossacks. I will not dare to evaluate the significance of their presence uh, from the perspective of Novorossiya's military achievements, but their publicity stunts convert them into one of the most visible groups of rebels. The head of the Cossacks, Nikolai Kazitsin, who has been leading the Union of the Cossacks of the Donhost Oblast since uh, 1993, uh, declared that the Cossacks consider themselves a, a, a part of the Russian Empire and see Putin as their emperor. On the other part, Kazitsyn justifies his so subordinate participation in the war as a defense of Cossack territories, thus appealing to the ideology of Cossack nationalism. You can see two examples on the slide. In my talk today, I want to demonstrate uh, the ways in which nationalistic and the great Russia's patriotic ideologies come together in the contemporary Cossack movement, which I also call Neo-Cossacks. I will focus on the Cossacks, Cossacks of, the Do of the Don River, who are primarily concentrated on the territories of the Rostov Oblast of Russia, but also have their associates in the neighboring Ukraine. First, historically credible reports about the Cossacks are dated uh, 15th century. During 15th, uh, 16th centuries, uh, there ap appeared multi-ethnic proto-states on the borderlands between the Grand Duchy of Li Lithuania, Moscovy, Poland, and the remains of the Golden Horde. The population of these proto-states engaged in mercenary activities and pillages and lived according to the uh, rules of early feudal military democracy. These were the Zaporozhka Siege, the Zaporozhan Siege in the northern Black Sea region and the Don Host in the, river, in, in the Don River region. During the uh, 17th, 19th centuries, the Cossacks were incorporated into Russia as a frontier population, responsible for protection and expansion of the empire, and thus became a part of social estate structure as a kind of military ca caste. Within the Russian empire, Cossacks reserved uh, certain elements of uh, their uh, autonomy, and to some extent, their archaic patri patri patriarchal culture. After the October Revolution in 1917, 17, the Cossacks became divided. One part fought in the Russian Civil War on the side of white movement, another, mostly, mostly the Cossack poor, joined the Red Army, and the majority first maintained neutrality. The Bolsheviks viewed the Cossacks as a counter revolutionary power a relic of the system of imperial estates of the realm, and mobilized violent terror campaign against them. The Cossacks also took a hit from the collectivization, which forced many of them to leave their native land. People from other regions who were more tolerant towards the Kolkhoz regime were resettled to the Don River region, while the Cossacks uh, got, dis uh, got dispersed throughout the country, settling mainly in large, large and medium-sized cities. Uh, many of them remained in the same region, but had to migrate uh, to industrial and mining centers to avoid pre persecution. Territorial integrity of the Don host was abolished. It was divided between several regions of the RSFSR and the Ukrainian SSF. With the exception of the short period around World War II, uh, 
public expression of Cossack identity was suppressed uh, in the Soviet Union. Cossack origins could be but an element of one's family history, but even uh, in, fam in the families, the memory of the events of the Civil War was often repressed as a traumatic experience. During the, po the post-war period, the presence of the Cossacks in the public discourse was allowed only in the form of folk ensembles, and uh, the le le leg legitimate area of historical inquiries was limited to Cossack uprisings of the 17th, uh, uh, 18th centuries, which were interpreted as uh, peasant wars, as well as to the Bolshevik struggle against the uh, Cossack Vandea. At the same time, the figure of Mikhail Sholokhov and his novel and quite close the dawn, which portrays the certain version of the war between the Reds and the Whites, occupied an important place in the official Soviet culture. It was precisely the figure of Sholokhov that was tightly connected with the inflated in interest towards the Cossacks uh, during the Perestroika. Already during the 70s, Sholokhov became surrounded by writers, journalists, literary scholars who com comprised one of the influential so circle inside the so-called Russian party, uh, and who were tightly connected with the local communist nomenclature. Their intellectual channel was a Rostov-based literary journal Dawn. The circle's attention to regional traditions and military history were combined with strong anti-liberal and anti-Semitic views. Under the wing uh, of nomenclature intelligentsia, the Don Historical Military Club was uh, 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 created in 1986 and in 1989 a community called Sholokhov Circle, which became an anchor uh, of the contemporary Cossack movement. Initially, it, it pursued cultural and educational goals associated with the com commemoration of the Red Cossacks of the Civil War and victories of the Cossacks in the Russian army. However, as the political struggle intensified in the, uh, in the late 80s, uh, the movement expanded and became politicized, thus turning into an important actor on the regional political arena. In 1990s, uh, multiple Cossack organizations throughout Russia consolidated and formed the Union of Cossacks. During the same time, the Union of the Don Host was formed in the Don region. And Sholokhov's son, the director of the Rostov branch of the Academy of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Mikhail Sholokhov, was elected the first Ataman. At this stage, the movement stopped being purely intellectual. A significant number of activists were the military and the police, either retired or active, as well as government clerks and party functionaries. They often uh, were descendants of the Cossacks that underwent decosacization in the uh, 1920s and, and 30s. Two generations later, their dissidents be became fully urbanized, but nevertheless were slightly uh, acquainted uh, with old Cossack life world through their uh, grandparents who grew up in a traditional Cossack culture. Moreover, there were also th those who had no real connection with the historical Cossacks. The Cossack movement was a part of a mass mobilization caused by perestroika and glasnost, but in some ways it differed from other examples of collective self-organizations all of the time, including those of conservative nationalist orientation. Firstly, it was led uh, on the initial phase by the communist nomenclature, which made its very existence possible. The administration of the Union of Cossacks of the Don Host received office space in the building of the Rostov Party Obkom, and the newspaper Dansko Slova was published as a supplement to the Obkom newspaper Molot. Uh, secondly, uh, mm -hmm. a wide regional net was created in small towns and settlements of Rostov Oblast. By the spring of 1991, Cossacks organizations existed in uh, uh, nine towns, 
50 stanitsas and 50 hooters of the Rostov Oblast. Thirdly, uh, the goal of neo cossacks organization was not merely a revival of the suppressed memory or reconstruction of uh, discourse, but in recon reconstruction of tra traditional institutions and practices. In the Don region, Kozak organization called this, th themselves Kozak Circle, Kazachi Krugi, referring to the pre-revolutionary pre form of self-governance. Elected Ottomans and created uh, public courts. Their members wore clothes reminiscent to the pre-revolutionary uniforms of the Kozak host. And next point, uh, Kozak movement stood apart from the, uh, from the electoral mobilization of the late 80s, uh, early 90s, or was unsuccessful in it, counting on restituting the traditional system of local government. The Communist Party could not keep control over the Cossacks. Already in uh, 1990, there formed an anti-communist movement supportive of Boris Yeltsin, which caused a division in the existing Cossack organization and the formation of new ones. The division that emerged between the neo cossacks was perceived uh, through the prism of the civil war as a struggle of the Reds and the Whites. Its main catalyst was the public unveiling of the so-called white sports of history, including the information about the Red Terror and collectivization. The struggle continued even after the collapse of the Communist Party till the crisis of the October 1993. Unlike the democratic movement, neo cossacks did, did not experience so rapid and drastic demobilization in the early 90s, as they successfully joined the new political reality. Suspicious of communism and pro-Western liberalism alike, Cossack organizations started acting as an independent political force um, that supported this or that temporary allies depending on viable benefits. People who call, called themselves themselves the Cossacks could uh, defend the White House both in the 1991 and 1993, be present at patriotic, democratic or ecological mass meetings. This flexibility cor correspondent with a broad repertoire of identities that uh, are based on different aspects of Cossack history and variegated historical myth-making. The common uh, denominator of all neo cossack organizations is the idea of the rebirth, that is, re recreation of various aspects of Cossack's historical life. This idea opens up a variety of choices. What is it that needs to be recreated? The Cossacks outlaws of the 16th century, the military state that served the Russian Empire, or the Don Republic of the Civil War era. This is tied to another question, which is arguably the key issue for public discussion about the Cossacks. Are they an ethnic group or a social one, an estate? Finally, the practical application of these theoretical debates is the definition of relations with the Russian center and the possibility of Cossack, Cossack independence. In the post-Soviet Russia, neo-Cossacks uh, exist in the form of many registered community organizations and official clubs, informal leaders and groups of active activists, which differently respond to these questions. Attitudes towards the question of ethnicity range from the recognition only of little social peculiarities or of uh, the Cossack, the Cossacks, mm, uh, as an inseparable part of the Russian ethno-nations, ethno -nation, to the idea that Cossacks and Russians are completely different and entirely unrelated ethnic groups. Uh, the spectrum of opinions uh, you, you can see on the slide. The variety of attitudes towards Cossack uh, independence range uh, respectfully from the rejection of any kind of autonomism to calls to create total independent state, Kazakhia from Transnistria to Sakhalin. The contemporary discourse of Cossack, Cossack ethnicity is actually a result of the second attempt of, to construct the Cossack identity. 
as a national one. The first one was in immigration in uh, 1920s uh, when the free Cossack movement emerged as a radical answer to the collapse of Tsarist Russia and uh, to challenges of new established Soviet state. Uh, its ideas were reactualized and developed in the time of national renaissance in former Soviet republics in the late 80s, beginning of the 90s, when the mobilizing power of national liberating slogans uh, started to be actively exploited by the governing elites and counter elites in fight to power. The re recognition of the Cossacks uh, as an independent nation opened up an opportunity to initiate a movement of national type and began with central and regional governments for independence and resources, relying on the right of people to self-determination. Despite the absence of the Cossacks' own language and territory, as well as deep cultural assimilation, the slogan proclaiming Cossacks' ethnicity rapidly became an, a unifying force for the majority of Cossacks' groups, the Reds and the Whites alike. Moreover, the recognition of the Cossacks as a nation was documented in the decisions of Russian government. The presidential decree of the June, uh, June of 1992 accorded the Cossacks to the repressed peoples and granted them the right of rehabilitation. The ways in which the Cossacks built their national-like identity upon various historical interpretations have many parallels with another East, East European national construction projects, especially with the Ukrainian one. The neo cossacks employ fantastic uh, ethnogenetic theories that make the Cossacks history seem more ancient. For example, the ideas of Savelyev, who insists uh, that the beginning of Cossacks history can be found in the times of Trojan War. One of the central places on the picture of the Cossacks' past is occupied by decosakization, Raskazachevanya, a genocide on the part of the Bolsheviks during the civil war and collectivization. Moreover, uh, to describe the effects of the collectivization, the term Holodomor is frequently used. The Cossacks even have their own Banderovce, Cossack groups that fought on the side of Germany in the World War II when in 1945 the English handed out Cossack collaborationists to the Soviet Union in Lienz, this event and their execution were referred to as Cossack Golgotha. Similar to Ukrainian national narrative, the existence of independent Cossack state headed by Ataman Krasnov in 1998 is infused with positive connotations. We can also add impulses from diaspora and appeals of uh, and ideas to um, remove Soviet monuments from the streets uh, of, uh, town, uh, of uh, local towns. Mm. And on the next slide, you can see visual uh, example of this discourse: the uh, painting of uh, painter Schmarin. Uh, although this type of myth-making sometimes appears to be too radical, the movements driven towards recognition of the Cossack as independent ethnos unites marginal nationalistic groups with registered Cossacks. Two minutes? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen <laughs> this sign. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this narrative unites uh, marginal nationalist, nationalistic groups with registered Cossacks who are purely loyal to the government. During the census of uh, 2022 uh, and uh, 2010, Cossack news media started a campaign that motivated people to respond to the nationality question as Cossack. In 2010, there appeared a YouTube music video, Nationality Cossack. There, the history of the Cossacks uh, is briefly narrated to rap music. Uh, defined in the ethnic character of their identity, the main part of the contemporary Cossacks simultaneously perceives themselves as inseparable part of Russia. 
Moreover, it aspires to assume the role of a guardian of traditional values, um, of the main defender of Russian motherland and of Orthodox Christianity from the outside and inside enemies. In the beginning of the, of the 90s, discussions of cultural and political independence, uh, inventions of traditions, and construction of separate, uh, separate Cossack identity comprised the core of the movement. And from the middle of the 90s, due to the government's active intervention, another model came to surface that oriented towards the Cossack of the late eight, uh, 19, early, eight, uh, early 20th century. And you can see main points of this narrative. And uh, for example, a, a kind of visual representation. Uh, uh, so I, I should finish, yes? Sorry, so I, I'm finished now. Uh, the idea that uh, this uh, identity of the Cossacks as uh, um, uh, government supporting and st state patriotic force is uh, tightly connected with the uh, politic of central government, which uh, uh, has attempted to um, officialize this movement. And in the middle of the 90s, there were uh, was created so-called Reestrovaya Kazachistva, Register Cossacks, who are paid for its uh, governmental service and uh, who, are, uh, play, who, who play a uh, big role in, uh, in the propaganda of patriotic values in regions both and in, in center. Uh, and unfortunately, I have no time to uh, explain about this connection between a Russian uh, Don, Don Cossacks and their uh, Eastern Ukrainian counterparts, which is so the idea of uh, uh, this uh, <laughs> talk, but if you have a, uh, such a question, I would like to answer. Mm -hmm.